I want to talk about sleep paralysis. I'm going to tell y'all my story, which is a true story. You know, it's getting close to Halloween, so why not tell some scary stories? Well, like I said, true stories that actually happened to me, my experience. And I can tell you right now, it scared the shit out of me. I hope I never experience that again. I remember I used to read about sleep paralysis and I didn't really believe in it because I figure how can you be sleep and awake at the same time? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I remember stories from my Uncle Quinn, God rest his soul, he used to tell a lot of scary stories and he used to scare the shit out of me and my cousins. And that's what got me really addicted to like horror and scary shit, you know, because he used to tell a lot of scary stories. And I know a lot of my cousins remember that. I don't know if my brothers remember that, but I know my cousin Hank and Kim, we all were old enough to remember that. Vamp, he might remember, but Soup and Terrence, I know for a fact they do not remember that. Well, Soup, of course, he's not with us anymore. But Terrence, I know he doesn't remember that. But this is my story. And I'm telling y'all, this is 100% true. There's nothing, and I mean nothing made up. I'm actually, I even hate thinking about it because I don't want this shit to happen again. Well, I remember um, I was laying on my stomach and I felt like a tingling sensation on my back. You know, I and the crazy thing about it, you know, they say you, once you wake up fully, you don't too much remember the whole dream. Well, this wasn't a dream and it's, it's just kind of weird to think about it because it feel like it was a dream, but I already know it wasn't because I remember everything about it. But back to the story, I felt this tingling sensation on my back. I was uh, staying at my uh, my uncle's, my uncle uh, Michael's house or apartment. I can't remember which one it was. It's been so long ago. And I remember I was in the room. It was dark. And I believe I was in a room by myself. And I remember opening my eyes and not being able to move, not being able to scream. All I was able to do was just sit there paralyzed. Well, lay there paralyzed. And you can I can see the living room because I believe my uncle... Uh, Michael and his wife, they were in the living room watching TV. So you can see the TV, you can see the light. Like the bedroom door was cracked. And the bed was maybe 10 feet away from the door. And I remember just laying there. And I'm looking at the door. But I'm also feeling something moving on my back. And the whole time, I'm, I'm trying to like move my legs, move my hands. I couldn't move anything. I mean anything. I couldn't I tried to scream. I couldn't do nothing. All I felt was this tingling sensation on my back and it was getting closer. It was moving. It was it started from like closer to my buttocks area and it started moving up towards my neck. The tingling sensation and I you felt like the it was like a spider walking up your back. Put it like that. It's like a spider crawling up your back, I mean. And I don't know if y'all ever had a, a spider, you know, crawl on your skin, but ugh. But that's how it felt. And I tried to, like, move my head, but I couldn't move my head because I wanted to take a look. I really wanted to see what the fuck that was. I was scared. I was crying. Tears were running down my face. And it went on for several minutes. And it's like I can feel the the... 
It's like I could feel a presence that was riding my back. And I'm telling y'all, I was 100% awake. I was awake. Eyes open. I can see the living room. I can see the TV, the bright light from the TV. I can see it all. Like I say, tears just flowing down my face and... I can't even remember how old I was, but I know I had to be around, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around there in that age range. But like I said, it went on for several minutes and it was just, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. I didn't hear, like, it didn't speak or anything like that. It just kept going up my back, then down, back up my back again. And I couldn't move. I'm like, it was crazy. I mean, I couldn't move anything, not a single part of my body. Now, the definition of sleep paralysis is your body. I don't know if it's your brain wakes. I guess your brain wakes up before the body or the body wakes up before the brain is actually awoke. Like, I don't understand how that shit works, but I don't know if that was true. I don't believe that bullshit. You know, I believe in the afterlife and I believe in all that dark shit that's happening around the world. You know, people say they see spirits, they see loved ones. I'm a strong believer in that. But I also knew not to invite it in. I didn't say anything. I didn't wish to see. I wanted to see it, but I didn't wish that I was able to see it. I really wanted to look and see what the fuck it was, but I didn't wish it. Because you don't want to invite anything in, for real. That's, I heard this story before, and I'm pretty sure that's true. All this shit comes from somewhere, y'all. For real, it comes from somewhere. But I was terrified. And next thing you know, boom, just like that. I mean, just like that. I woke up, and I ran out the room screaming. And I, rem I, don't, I can't recall if it was Bobby or Michael that uh, stopped me. And I don't... I, like I said, it's only so much I can remember from that night. But um, I remember that I was crying in one of their arms and they had to calm me down, of course. And I don't know if I slept out in the living room or they I went in their room with them or they put me back in the room. I really can't remember that. But I do remember that scary part of that night. And I can tell y'all this, I never want to feel that shit again. Ever. I mean, at my age now, I don't want to go through nothing like that. For real. It was a scary experience. And, you know, the reason I'm sharing this is because I'm a big fan of Halloween. And this is the time for scary, you know, tell scary things that happen in your life. You know, scary situations that you might went through that you were too afraid to talk about. Or you were not too afraid, you were too embarrassed to talk about. I believe why not talk about it? On my so on my site, you know what I'm saying? For people can can hear my story, what I've been through. And like I say, it, it was terrifying, y'all. So if any one of y'all got any stories out there, hit me up in the comments and let me know. I would talk about it. I would share with the you know, with all my with the world. I would share your story if you don't mind me doing it. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna read what y'all put in the comments and then I'm gonna go live and talk about it. If y'all okay with that. And like I said, it's getting close to Halloween. Why not talk about some stuff like this, y'all? That's my favorite time of the year. I prefer Halloween over Christmas. I prefer Halloween over Thanksgiving. I prefer Halloween over Easter. I prefer Halloween over Valentine's. I prefer Halloween over all those holidays. I'm just a Halloween guy. I always have been. But that's my story. And now y'all know. Like I say, hit me up in the comments, y'all. And make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And make sure y'all hit that, you know, become a member. Help your boy out. You know, earn those monthly badges, you know what I'm saying? Be a loyal member. You know, all I can do is go up, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to switch it up and do different things. You know, like I say, my channel is simple. There's no editing. There's you no, know, it's just me. You know, reacting to videos, reacting to what's going on in the world. I haven't done movies yet because I haven't figured out how to do it. How to react to movies yet. So I'm still trying to, you know. I've been doing this for a minute now, but. It's 
See, this is the shit I'm talking about. That's sh- that's my ringtone, but it hasn't went off for hours. All of a sudden, it goes off when I talk about this shit. That's the Omen, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever seen the movie The Omen, Damien. <laughs> Scary movie, y'all. So y'all should check that out. The Omen One and the Omen Two. The Omen Three, The Awakening. No, forget all that. That that was a whack. The Omen One and the Omen Two. Make sure y'all check that out. But your boy's out of here, and I hope y'all. Uh, I wouldn't say enjoy hearing what I went through, but I do hope it scares the shit out of you. For real. It's it's getting close to Halloween, y'all. What y'all want me to say? Until next time, y'all already know. Your boy got to get ready and go to work in a minute. And as always, peace, love, and deuces.